there's something special about the Challenge Cup, you know. The week leading up to that, I remember, I was so nervous. Uh, I think probably over the, over the week, I probably got about 20 hours sleep. Every morning I was being sick. I think it was down to past, past disappointments in the cup. You know, I had five semi-final losses previous to that, so I know that they're the worst, worst places to lose. We've been involved in a, in a few semi-finals beforehand, but uh, this is our first time with, with a coach like Tony Smith and the way that he fought. And I remember when we went for Team Run, I think we were at Windus, and we, we stood, stood in a line as though we were walking out you know, in front of a crowd, and now we will walk out tomorrow, and uh, I thought, you know, this is it's quite powerful, this. And there you can see the scenes in the Warrington dressing room. Lee Breers actually has just been going around hugging all of the other players. Well, you know, that's different than when you're walking out, oh, as the goosebumps come on my arms, so that's, that's different. You know, the nerves go, you're ready, you're prepared. You know, don't quote me on this, but I think it was about 80, 20 Warrington fans percent, so it was just amazing to see and you know, they, they cheered us on from minute one. We had a game plan of we were going to attack Palacina. His strength was his ball carry, uh, but we were going to tire him out so he, he couldn't do that. And we looked at the team sheet and he was on the bench. So that, that kind of disrupted us a bit, but you know, we went, we kept the faith. We went 8-0 down, I think it was, and uh, kept the faith. And then uh, we had one game plan, and then Palacina come on and we changed the game plan. And we went straight through right through the middle, I think we scored three tries, uh, and Palacino was off. So the game plan worked in the end. It was a weird kind of way because it was my brother who died, he, it was his birthday, uh, and, I, and I scored right there, and obviously I looked up and, and, and gave him a little message. Can I just say, my brother died eight years ago, and it's his birthday today. He's looking up for me. Oh, I love you, bro. Further on, in another, another year's time, we play Catland, and I scored an exactly the same point on my brother's birthday again, so it was strange, strange feeling. The question is, have Wigan got time to restart their semi-final, or have Warrington done enough in the opening 40 minutes to put themselves on the Wembley Trail? It's really important at half-time that, you know, you're calm, cool and collected, and you don't get too far ahead of yourselves. Wigan were a great side, they were always going to have their say. You know, when it comes to Wigan in a semi-final, then there were always going to be spells where we had to defend and we had to be right, and when we were tired, we were, it was going back to what we knew, with our game plan, and uh, sticking to it. You know, once it went over, you see Wigan's body language, it broke them. Uh, so, it was, it was a good time to get one. Uh, you know, we had some, some unbelievable play the balls in that set. We you know, got the quick play the ball, so I could take that. You know, everybody just sees the one point, but it's what goes on before that. Players getting in the right position, players getting up to play the ball quick. Yeah, it was strange because you know, you know, me personally, I'd never been to Wembley before, and not even as a kid or anything. So uh, it was great getting on the phone to the family, and, you know, and even you know, my old school got a bus down, and you know, it was uh, it was a great occasion, something that we were all super looking forward to. To get the monkey off the back, if you like, for, for our town, to, to finally get to, to Wembley after 34 years, it's it's something what you look back on now when you retire and you go, wow, that's special.